Hello and welcome to another fantasy football tournament and happy Friday as well. Two videos today for fantasy football tournaments. Fantasy Football Friday. In this tournament, I'm starting off uh, what is a regional tournament consisting of nations that speak a similar tongue. In this one, this is the Francophone Cup. In other words, French-speaking nations of the world. There are more than the 16 that you see pictured here. But I had to narrow it down and consider this fantasy football tournament number 14, Le Coupe des Nations Francophones. I probably butchered that. But here are the participants. We have participants all, from all over the world. Europe, uh, mainly Europe, Africa, uh, CONCACAF, and Oceania, where... Uh, we have French-speaking nations. So here are the teams, here are the participants, here are the groups. Group A is France, of course. Mali, Burkina Faso, and Canada. Group B is Belgium, New Caledonia, Haiti, and Cameroon. Group C is Switzerland, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Algeria, and French Guiana. Group D is Senegal, Ivory Coast, excuse me, Cote d'Ivoire, Martinique, and Tunisia. As you can see, they're pretty much laid out. And uh, let's jump right in. So in Group A, hypothetical host nation and sort of motherland of French of the French language, France, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Canada. I think France would win this group, and I think second would most likely be between Mali and Burkina Faso, although Canada has sort of been on the rise in the last few years. They had a pretty impressive CONCACAF Gold Cup last summer. Uh, they could challenge for second spot in this group, but I'm going to give it to the, the Stallions of Burkina Faso to come in second. So Mali and Canada are out. B is Belgium, o Oceania nation, New Caledonia, Haiti and Cameroon. I think Belgium should walk away with this group. They should get nine points. The opening match versus New Caledonia has the potential to be a complete blowout with a goal line in the double digits because New Caledonia is an Oceanian team. So the battle for second should be between Haiti, who has been on the up in recent years. They had a really impressive CONCACAF Gold Cup back in 2015, and they played in the, in the 2016 Copa America Centenario. Uh, one of the best teams in the Caribbean, in my opinion. And then Cameroon, the current African champions, but who also failed to qualify for the World Cup and were pretty much blown out in a group that was supposed to be competitive. So this is a tight one. I'm going with Belgium to win this group. And I'm going with a very slight upset of Haiti to come in second here. So New Caledonia and Cameroon are out. Group C, Switzerland. Democratic Republic of Congo, Algeria, and French Guiana. This is going to be a tight group, I feel, but the Swiss should have too much. They should top it. Algeria really have collapsed in recent years, which is unfortunate because they were one of the best teams in Africa, uh, especially in the last World Cup when they got to the round of 16. They have a lot of really uh, great players that play in Europe as well. but. I don't know what happened to them. The last African Cup of Nations and World Cup qualifying, they just uh, incinerated. I'm going with Switzerland and the Democratic Republic of Congo to top this group. French Guiana and Algeria out. Senegal, Ivory Coast, Martinique, and Tunisia in Group D. This is the group of death, in my opinion. Martinique, also another classic. French Caribbean side, they got a cool flag too. 
They did decently in the last Gold Cup. Uh, they got a, a respectable three or four points in their group. I think. Um, Ivory Coast really has been on, on the decline lately. They failed to qualify for the World Cup. We're seeing Tunisia sort of reemerge, and Senegal is just very, very strong with all the individuals they have, like Keita Balde, uh, Sadio Mane, Koulibaly. So Senegal will top this group. And for second, I'm actually going with Tunisia here, just because I think they're in better form. They qualified. So Ivory Coast and Martinique are out. Tunisia go through. So here are the quarterfinals. You have France against Haiti. David versus Goliath here. Switzerland versus uh, Tunisia. Belgium versus Burkina Faso. And Senegal versus the Democratic Republic of Congo. So France versus Haiti. That's the end of the road here, but Haiti went on a great run. France should win this comfortably. I think they'll win it 4-0, maybe 5-6-0. So France will go on to the semifinals over Haiti. Switzerland versus Tunisia. I think Switzerland will win, but I think it'll be close. I think they'll probably be pushed to extra time, 2-1. to one. Belgium, Burkina Faso. It's going to be an interesting match. Uh, Because I know Burkina Faso are a tough side in Africa. And they're very agile as well. I think Belgium... Yeah, I mean, Belgium just has too much in my opinion. But I think Burkina Faso will give them a really good fight. Then Senegal versus the Democratic Republic of Congo. This is the most evenly matched up of all four... uh, quarterfinal clashes. I'm actually going with the Democratic Republic of Congo. I think they have the most promise in the long term. I think that they have, I said in a previous video, I think they're going to be one of the best, if not the best African team within the next couple of years. But they were really unlucky not to qualify for the World Cup. And I say that because they are absolutely stacked. Players like Yannick Bolasi, Olingi, Mubele, Cabano, uh, Cabananga, Isoko. Just naming off the top of my head, this, this is a really, really promising side. I thought they were one of the best teams in the last African Cup of Nations. And look out for the Democratic Republic of Congo moving forward. Uh, the, the generation of players that they're producing now really does remind me a little bit of Ivory Coast from 2005-2006. So be on the lookout for them. I'm actually... I have them very narrowly getting a win over Senegal here. Yeah, I'm not going to go with all four group winners to advance. That's just too boring. So I'm going with DR Congo to go through. Senegal out. So the semifinals of the Francophone Cup. We have France versus Switzerland. And Belgium versus... DR Congo. France versus Switzerland. Last time they met was Euro 2016 when it ended in a nil-nil draw. I expect France would win this. Not comfortably, but they should win by at least one or two goals and get to the final. <clears throat> so France will win. I- I'm going to say 2-0. Belgium versus DR Congo. A bit of history here between these two countries, really. DR Congo being a former Belgian colony um, hundreds of years ago. Oh, this is really... This, this would be a really cool game. I mean, Belgium is obviously the better side. But we know that Belgium in the last two major tournaments have choked up against teams that were not on their level, for example, Wales in the Euro 2016, for example, they barely were able to beat the United States in the round of 16 in the last World Cup. I'm going with another surprise here. I think DR Congo will get one over. I think DR Congo will get one over in a in a thrilling match, possibly the match of this tournament.
your Congo's going to the final. And then third place matches between Switzerland and Belgium. I think Belgium wins this, and I'll say they win and I, another high scoring affair. I'll say four to two. Belgium will win third place. So Switzerland will finish fourth. Belgium will finish second. No, third, I'm sorry. And then the final, France versus DR Congo. It's a little bit too good to be true, but France will just have too much, I think, in my opinion. Um, DR Congo going on a spirited run through Senegal and, and Belgium to get to the final. But I'm going with France. I know, big surprise to win the Francophone Cup. So DR Congo will come in second. And France will come in first. So these are the results. France wins it. DR Congo second. Belgium third. Switzerland fourth. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one today, God willing. Until then, have a good one. Much love and peace out.